Good evening, this is Rashad Mitchell coming to you live from my YouTube channel for the Team of My Park series. The week that was college football season review, the 1977 college football season. This is uh, week three. Let's get into it. Syracuse beat Washington 22 20. Orange men shook off. Six game losing streak on kicker David Jacobs. 31 yard field goal with 23 seconds left. Syracuse quarterback Bill Hurley. Had 118 yards rushing and 20 carries led in the 57 yard foot drive. Busted runs for three catch carries for 42 yards. Washington had taken a 20 to 19 lead on quarterback Warren Moon's four yard run, but a subsequent two point pass conversion sale incomplete. So Moon was Husky's dominant force, completing 16 of 25, 257 yards. Touchdowns of 25 and 51 to wide receiver Spider Games. Had seven catches for 169 yards that built. A 14-10 halftime lead. Florida beat Mississippi State 24-22 as the Bulldogs overcame a 17-0 deficit with 22 straight points and were poised to live a death blow at 4th and 1. On 4th and 1 at the Brigade 33-yard line. But Florida middle guard Scott Hutchinson had 18 tackles stacked up run to end the threat. Gators answered with 6-7-yard march to quarterback Terry Counts, winning 16-yard touchdown run with 57 seconds left. Gators had used second quarter burst to build every build early, early, early lead, scoring first on an 80 yard run by halfback Tony Green, doubling lead on 13 yard scoring live pass from sub quarterback John Brantley to wide receiver West Chandler. Bulldogs responded to three phone recoveries deep in for the end, setting up two touchdown runs by halfback James Jones and another by fullback Dennis Johnson. Auburn beat Tennessee 14-12 while hiring Tennessee coach Johnny Majors was major news in the offseason. It was an Auburn newcomer named freshman tailback James Brooks who dominated this matchup. Brooks dashed for Valentine's hopes 112 yards on Auburn rally. It was Auburn rally for the game's final 14 points. The Tigers scored late in the second quarter. A 78-yard drive to quarterback John Crane's 25-yard touchdown pass to wide receiver Byron Franklin. Auburn then took lead in third quarter after Brooks raced 40 yards to Volunteers' four-yard line to set up five-yard touchdown run by fullback William Andrews. Tennessee had an entire fourth quarter to answer the loss from behind the Tiger first in the one-yard line. Missed late 36-yard field goal by kicker Jim Gaylor to watch punts on a contribute to Auburn's early deficit. Met Miami beat Florida State 23-17. Kings surged early and late to win in the state rivalry. Miami took 10 0 in the first quarter lead on 24 yard touchdown pass from quarterback EJ Baker to running back Ken Johnson. 17 yard field goal by kicker Chris Dennis. Seminoles built off next 17 points as quarterback Jimmy Jordan found his moment of success against the Hurricane defense. The 27 yard punt pass, 27 yard pass to tailback Larry Key to set up. Full field goal and 19 yard touchdown pass to wide receiver Kurt Unglot. Baker and fullback Boris Anderson knocked out with injuries. Miami found answers and backups and alert defense that picked off Jordan four times. Miami freshman quarterback Kenny McMillan threw three yard touchdown to tight end Carl Monroe to tie the game early in the fourth quarter. The lead drops to two more field goals by Dennis Bolt from 47 yards away. Minnesota beat UCLA 27 13 and shutting down. Bruins offense that was high power. Howard Minnesota pulled off stunning upset. The Gophers' first team defense posted uh, as UCLA scored touchdowns on 95 yard interception return by linebacker Jerry Robson. One yard touchdown run by halfback Freeman McNeil against Minnesota reserves by Tom McNeil scored late in the fourth quarter. The Gophers had his all his all his 47 put in the full belt fullback Jeff Thomas. Jeff Thompson scored two touchdowns in the second quarter. Second score following poor Bruins punt snap deep in their territory later in the half. Bruins quarterback Rick Ashore made bad pitch out to McNeil that was recovered in UCLA and zone by Gophers defensive tackle Steve Midball. Notre Dame beat Purdue 31 24. Legend of quarterback Joe Montana began to boom. Montana, who missed 1976 season with injury, entered game in relief of an ineffectual. Quarterback Rusty Lish is soon to be injured replacement. Quarterback Gary Forrest said, Yes, Montana was third string, but Notre Dame trailing 
24-14, third quarter, Montana rallied Irish to 17 points in victory. Towards the game winning 13 yard touchdown pass to tight end, Ken McAfee with 139 left. And Purdue had built lead behind freshman, spectacular freshman quarterback Mark Herman, who threw school record 51 passes, of which he completed 24, 357, 351 yards, three touchdowns. He was picked off four times. Herman, native of Carmel, Indiana, has top 300 yard passing in all three of his games to date. Texas A&M beat Texas Tech 33-17 after getting excited early by tailback Mark Julian's nifty 51-yard touchdown run with screen pass. Red Raiders faithful fell silent when star quarterback Roddy Allison was called off in first quarter with broken leg curves and power hit by blitzing safety for the Aggies of Texas A&M Carl Rulich. Texas Tech stayed in contention through three quarters, helped by goal line stand against 280-pound Aggies fullback George Wood, nicknamed Winnebago. A tech coach Steve Sloan, Texas A&M prevailed thanks to four field goals by kicker Tony Franklin. In the fourth quarter, A&M halfback Curtis Dickey was held to 48 yards rushing, but caught six passes for 117 yards, including a 68-yard touchdown catch in third quarter. But Red Raiders fullback Billy Taylor rushed for 65 yards. The game of the year. September 24, 1977, was Oklahoma versus Ohio State. Yes, that was Oklahoma kicker Yui Van Sherman. He egged on all 88,119 Buckeye fans for making his last minute winning field goal. While crowd was making usual big noise to bother kicker, Ohio State coach Billy Hayes was calling timeout to add pressure. West German born Texas Raiders Lunas kicker was on his hands and knees doing deep breathing exercises. Van Schoeman got up. Briefly lifted both arms and up and down to rile up Buckeye fans, even fanning concert conducted motions, and then drilled a 41 yard field goal. The first ever matchup of two winningest programs of the past 25 years was exciting if sloppy. Oklahoma opened with a 20 0 lead in the second quarter on 33 yard touchdown run by halfback Elvis Peacock, 14 yard touchdown run by halfback Billy Sims, and two field goals by Van Schoen. But six turns over in an eight possession stretch put OU on its heels. Promptly defensive coordinator Larry Lacewell to call for new stat. Pitch outs attempted, pitch outs completed. Pitch outs attempted and pitch outs completed. Buckeyes then rolled 80 yards in seven plays to tail back. Ron Springs 30 yard touchdown run. And after recovering one of those missed pitch outs on Schooner's 19 yard line, Ohio State quickly scored on quarterback Rod Gerald's 19 yard run. Ohio State, however, surrounded three other chances following Oklahoma. Fumbles deep in Oklahoma territory, both starting quarterbacks. Gerald and OU's time slot knocked out of the losing game. Ohio State sub quarterback Greg Castanola, Castanola, five six fifteen yards touchdown to tight end Jimmy Moore for twenty eight twenty lead in the third quarter. Castanola lost fourth quarter on phone when nose guard Reggie Kendall stripped. Similar soon as bucked out backup quarterback Dean Blevins converted Tedon over into a 43 yard drive that ended with Peacock's second touchdown, tackle induced flip into end zone on fourth down from the one yard line. Peacock's tying two point conversion run was halted. Ohio State was not yet off the hook as Oklahoma defensive back Mike Babb grabbed an onside kick off with last chance. Blevins hit wide receiver Steve Rhodes for 18 yard gain that set up Von Schoolman's dramatic field goal. So that includes a look at the week that was college football history review, 1977 college football season, week three, September 24th. Let's look at the AP polls, September 26th. Arizona State was number 20, 19 Houston, 18 Mississippi State, 17 California, 16 Pittsburgh, 15 Brigham Young, 14 Notre Dame, Texas Tech, Tech, Texas Tech 13, 12 Arkansas, 11 Nebraska. Top 10 had Alabama, number 10, 9 Florida, 8 Texas, 7 Colorado, 6 Ohio State. Five Texas A and M, four Penn State, three Michigan, two Oklahoma, two Southern California, and number one Oklahoma. Number ten was Alabama, nine Florida, eight Texas, seven Colorado, six Ohio State, five Texas A and M, four Penn State, three Michigan, two Southern California, and number one Oklahoma. So I please look at what that was. College Football Review, nineteen seventy-seven College Football Season. 
for week number three, September 24th, 1977. Just like subscribe and comment on the channel, do a video to Smack 2 tomorrow. Till then, talk to you soon.